Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back again to my channel. Our topic for today is all about computing the periodic payment of an annuity due. We are going to compute the periodic payment of an annuity due. What are the objectives of this lesson? Number one, discuss annuity due. Number two, determine the formula to be used in solving the periodic payment of an annuity due. And number three, solve the periodic payment of an annuity due. Always remember, be persistent. Soon you will thank yourself for not giving. What is annuity? It is a series of equal payments at regular interval. Example of annuity, that is payments of insurances, premiums, leases, mortgages, pensions, personal loans, rent, term loans. What is annuity do? It is a type of annuity where the payments are made at the beginning of each interval. Unlike ordinary simple annuity, the payment interval starts at the end of each period. So these are the keywords, and you always see this one with our previous videos. So J is equal to nominal interest rate, M is the number of conversion per year, T is for time period of the loan or investment, N is the number of payments in the annuity, then R is the size of each annuity payment, and I is equal to interest rate per compounding period. So these are the compounding frequencies and number of periods per year. So we have for annual, we have one number of compounding per year. For semi-annual, we have two. Quarterly, we have four. Bi-monthly, we have six. Then monthly, we have 12. Let's try to solve this problem. What amount must you contribute each year to accumulate 3,500,000 pesos in 15 years? If the investment earns 13% compounded annually and the contributions are made at the beginning of each year. What are the formula to be used? We have two. It depends on the given. R is, if the given is um, future value, this will be the formula to be used. R is equal to future value of an annuity due multiplied by I. Divided by, divided by the quantity of 1 plus i raised to n plus 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus i. And if the present value of an annuity due is given, we are going to use present value of annuity due multiplied by i divided by the quantity of 1 plus i minus the quantity of 1 plus i raised to 1 minus n. So these are the formulas to be used in order for us to find or determine the periodic payment of an annuity. Let's now determine the given and the formula to be used. What amount must you contribute each year to accumulate 3,500,000 in 15 years if the investment earns 13% compounded annually and the contributions are made at the beginning of each year? We have the given. Since it is future value, that is 3,500,000. Number of compoundings per year is one because it's annually. T is equal to 15 years. The investment will be for 15 years. Then total number of annuity payments for the whole transaction, we have 15 multiplied by 1. T multiplied by M, 15 multiplied by 1, that is 15. We have J, that is 13% or 0 0.13. And we are going to solve for the value of I by dividing uh, the nominal interest rate by the total number of compoundings per year. 0 0.13 divided by 1 that is 0 0.13 divided by 1. The answer is 0 0.13. So these are the given. Let's now identify the formula to be used. Since the given is future value, we are going to use this formula. Periodic payment is equal to future value of, of an annuity due multiplied by I over the quantity of 1 plus i raised to n plus 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus i. Let's now substitute the given on the formula. And it goes like this. S ju is 3,500,000. I is 0 0.13. Then n is 15. What is the first step? We are going to multiply 3,500,000 by 0 0.13. And we are going to add 1 plus 0 0.13. 1 plus 0 0.13. And the answer is, multiply 3,500,000 by 0 0.13, 1 plus 0 0.13, 1 plus 0 0.13, 1 
the answer is 455,000. Then we added 1 plus 0 0.13, 1.13. 1 plus 0 0.13, 1.13, then 15 plus 1, that is 16. We multiply this two, we add this one, this two, we add this two, and we add this. So here it goes. After that, we are going to simplify 1.13 raised to 16. We are going to simplify this one. 1.13 raised to 16, the answer is 7.06732552. 1.13 raised to 16, it's 7.06732527. Then subtract this two, 7.06732527 minus 1.13. The answer is 5.9372552. The final step is we are going to divide 455,000 by. 5.9373255527. And the periodic payment is 76,633.83 each year. You are going to pay 76,633.83. That is the periodic payment per year. Next example JM Balahadja wishes to receive. 400,000 four years from now, that is four years from now, how much he invest, how much must he invest at the beginning of each quarter if the first payment starts now and the interest is 14% compounded quarterly? So he, here are the formulas to be remembered if the given, one of the given is uh, for future value, we are going to use this one. And if one of the given is Present value of an annuity due, we are going to use this formula. Let's now determine the given. We have this problem. J.M. Balahadja wishes to receive 400,000 for years from now. How much must he invest at the beginning of each quarter if the first payment starts now and the interest is 14% compounded quarterly? What are the given? We have... Uh, Present value of annuity due that is 400,000 pesos because of the word four years from now. Then total number of compoundings per year that is four. Time is four years. Because the reason why it is four because it's quarter, each quarter. Then total number of years, it's four years. In order for us to get the value for N, we are going to multiply T by M. Four times four, that is. 16. The nominal interest rate is equal to 14% or 0 0.14 in decimal point. And we are going to get the value for i by simply dividing j by m. That is nominal interest rate divided by the number of compoundings per year. 0 0.14 divided by 4, that is 0 0.035. So these are the given on the, based on the problem. What are the formulas to be used? R is equal to, since the given is present value, we are going to use this formula. That is periodic payment is equal to present value of an ad, present value of an annuity due multiplied by I divided by the quantity of one plus I minus the quantity of one plus I raised to one minus N. Let's now substitute the given on the formula and it goes like this. Present value of annuity due is 400,000 multiplied by I, which is 0 0.035. Then we have 1 plus I, 0 0.035. The value for I is 0 0.035 raised to N, which is 16. Let's now solve this one. Multiply this, add this, add this, then subtract this. 400,000 multiplied by 0 0.035. The answer is 14,000. Then 1 plus 0 0.035, the answer is 1.035. 1 plus 0 0.035, the answer is 1.035. Then we subtracted 1 minus 16, negative 15. Again, multiply this 2, add this 2, add this 2, then subtract this 2. And here it goes. After that one, we are going to simplify 1.035 raised to negative 15. 
what is 1.035 raised to negative 15? The answer is 0 0.596890 1.035 raised to negative 15. The answer is 0 0.596890 after we simplify 1.035 raised to negative 15, we are going to subtract these two. 1.035 minus 0 0.5968906186. And the answer is 0 0.43810938141. 1.035 minus 0 0.5968906186. That is 0 0.43810938144. The final step is simply dividing 14,000 by 0 0.43810938144. And the final answer is 31,955.49. That is the periodic payment per quarter. 31,955.49. I hope you were able to follow our simple instruction for today. Always remember, mathematics will always remind us that in every problem there is a solution. Thank you for watching and God bless you. See you on our next tutorial. Bye.